Welcome to the Waldorf Astoria here in Orlando, and I'm so excited to get this trip started because we have a lot to share with you. The behind the scenes of a self-made cryptocurrency millionaire and show you the lifestyle. That's going to be the aim of the vlogs moving forward, just like Gary Vee says. Document versus create. And I personally was really inspired by that. In this vlog series, Joe Paris TV, I'm gonna be teaching you really cool lifestyle experiences. Carbon freeze for you? Carbon freeze, yeah, that's fun. And we're gonna start things off with a bang. <laughs> These next three days here in Orlando are going to be, well, epic. So if you like these vlog style videos, if you like learning about cryptocurrency, entrepreneurship, and finance, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Also, click that notification bell so you get notified every single time I come up with these videos. So with that being said, let's let the adventure begin. Growing up, my sisters and I really enjoyed going to theme parks. Some of our fondest memories were at Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, and Six Flags Great America. On Sunday, August 1st, 2021, my sisters and I flew into Orlando International Airport to celebrate our birthdays. I flew in from my new home of Puerto Rico, and my sisters flew in from New Orleans, Louisiana, and Chicago, Illinois. After landing, we went straight to the Waldorf Astoria to check into our room for the next three nights. The Waldorf Orlando is an elegant oasis of contemporary luxury and a Forbes four-star hotel. It is also the official Walt Disney World Hotel offering guests special benefits, including Disney Fast Pass service 60 days in advance and exclusive Disney Magic Hour benefits. The Waldorf has more than 500 rooms, including 171 suites. It also has more than 12 restaurants and lounges, including the famous Bull and Bear restaurant. On property, you can also find the Reese Jones designed 18 hole golf course, as well as award winning Astoria Spa. The hotel also offers multiple resort style swimming pools, including private cabanas for an extra fee. They also have a 24-hour fitness center, which I was very impressed with. The hotel also has a kids club and continuous transportation to the Walt Disney World theme parks and Disney Springs. Now, we ended up staying in a double queen room and found it to be quite comfortable and convenient. The hotel was only a five-minute drive from Disney Springs and a 10-minute drive from Hollywood Studios. It was also only about 20 to 25 minutes from Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. One of my favorite parts about the hotel was its luxurious feel, beautiful entryway, luxurious amenities, and award-winning restaurants. Now, after checking into the hotel, my sisters and I went directly to Disney Springs for lunch at Earl of Sandwich. We also decided to have dessert at the famous Gideon's Bakehouse. Earl of Sandwich is a restaurant franchise based in Orlando, Florida, and has some of the best salads and sandwiches anywhere around. I ended up getting the garden fresh salad, while my sisters ended up getting the sandwiches. They also had many other options on the menu, like chips, fruit, and much more. Now, for dessert, we had to go to the world famous Gideon's Bakehouse. Gideon's cookies and cakes take more than 24 hours to prepare and are sold on a first come first serve basis. It's also important to know that they have limited edition items and they don't tend to last the entire day. Their goodies are 100% handmade from scratch and are literally some of the best cookies we've ever had. All right, we are here at Gideon's Bakehouse and on the menu today we have some new items. See the chocolate chip original pistachio cookies and cream peanut butter and triple chocolate first off you will have to get in the virtual queue line and then you will be allowed access into the bake shop so out of the two cookies we okay so we had 10 out of 10 for the, the coffee two, no no we had the two best sellers two, but two chip. okay we had the two best sellers chocolate chip which is my favorite I think that was like unanimous our favorite and then, what was the other one that we had? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Some of the best cookies ever in the entire world, I guess. Right here in Disney Springs. Definitely check this out if you are around and in town. After lunch, we decided to walk around Disney Springs and do some window shopping. Disney Springs has multiple authentic Disney stores and restaurants. Here you can buy authentic clothes and toys from many of the Disney movies. They also had a Lego store that was really cool and lots of other attractions to keep you occupied. Now after shopping, it was time for a little rest and relaxation at the hotel pool. All right, so we just got back from Disney Springs. We went to the pool. We had a really good time. Went to the Lazy River. Okay, here we are in the lazy river. And then we also went on the slide. Ooh. Took a nap. 
That's a funny picture. Now we're all dressed up. We're going to dinner right downstairs. There's a lot of really good food. I will see you at dinner. We ended up going to dinner at the world famous Bull and Bear restaurant. This restaurant has received many prestigious awards and recognitions, including the AAA Four Diamond Award, TripAdvisor Certificate of Excellence, Wine Spectacular Award of Excellence, the Florida Trend Golden Spoon, and the Orlando Sentinel Foodie Award for Best Steakhouse. To get things started, as an appetizer, we each had a small small portion of the Florida Farms corn soup with the truffle and ribola grilled cheese sandwich, as well as an assortment of decadent breads. We also decided to have the classic Caesar salad prepared table side. Now for the main course, we split the bowl and bear fried chicken with Yukon gold mashed potatoes and gravy with the side of asparagus and the famous bowl and bear fries. The bowl and bear fried chicken takes more than three days to create. Now we made sure to go all in for dessert. And my sister received the creme brulee with hidden dark chocolate creme. Wait, 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 start over. I wasn't even singing. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Tori. <laughs> as well as a secret item on the menu. Now this item is typically only served on weekends and it's called the famous Bull and Bear Lemon. If you go to Bull and Bear, you have to get this dessert. It takes multiple days to prepare this lemon and inside there are multiple layers of delicious cream for you to enjoy. The dessert was literally dancing on our tongues and it was something that we'll never forget. This was one of the best desserts I've ever had in my entire life as well as one of the most unique. After dinner, we went straight to bed because we knew the next day is when the real adventure would begin. Okay, that's it. We're in. That's it. <laughs> the adventure begins. <laughs> Speeding through the jungle, rising high above the terrain, Velocicoaster is the apex predator of roller coasters. We're so excited. We're going to be going on Velocicoaster, brand new roller coaster here in 2021. It's going to be awesome. Amazing start to the day. Beautiful weather. Life is good. See you at Velocicoaster. We are literally sprinting to the Velocicoaster. This thing looks incredible. Beautiful day. We're early. We're early. It's not even nine o'clock yet. We're early. Now the question is, OMG. Here it comes, Jor. All right, so we are in line. It is hot. Beautiful nine in the morning. Here comes the Velocicoaster right behind us. It's really cool experience. There it is. I'm gonna get some other shots for you guys, but it's gonna come literally right by us here. So you can experience that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is crazy. All right, so we just did Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster was incredible. Now we're about to go do Hagrid's motorbike adventure. We've done this one one other time, and it was unbelievable. We really, really enjoyed this ride. I know I'm, I sound like just excited right now, but so much adrenaline from Velocicoaster. Best roller coaster I think we've ever been on. Jory, how was Velocicoaster? For mom and dad only. Oh, it was incredible. Sign up, Velocicoaster. Ever been on. After Velocicoaster and Hagrid's, we took the Hogwarts Express, which was only a 10 minute wait, over to Diagon Alley to ride Harry Potter and escape from Gringotts. While in Diagon Alley, we also ended up getting a classic butter beer and gilly water and visiting multiple stores and shops. All right, so we're now at Diagon Alley. And we just got some gilly water. And we did get a butter beer. But the gilly water is just plain water. And they have a bunch of different flavors as well. A really fun, beautiful afternoon. It's been an incredible day. A lot of fun. And I'm gonna be showing you guys around. We're gonna go into a bunch of the different stores. We're going into Sugar Plums here. Look at all this candy. Halfway through the day, it was then time for lunch at the world's best theme park restaurant according to Theme Park Insider. Mythos, which is located in Islands of Adventure, was incredibly relaxing, peaceful, and cleanly. My sisters and I really enjoyed the ambiance and taking a quick break from all the rides. For our appetizers, we started off with the crusted calamari. This was tender calamari, flash fried, served with Spanish chorizo aioli, marinara, and charred lemon. We also split the roasted red pepper hummus, which was spiced chickpeas, toasted pine nuts, 
Kalamata olives, smoked paprika, and other herbs. We also had the Hearts of Romaine Caesar salad, which was crisp romaine, roasted plum tomatoes, charred pita, and house-made Caesar dressing with shaved Parmesan. Now for our entrees, we had two servings of the Pad Thai, which was a combination of rice noodles, mixed vegetables, and house-made peanut sauce. We also requested one serving to be vegan, which came with crispy tofu and vegan peanut sauce. Mythos definitely lived up to the hype, the service was fantastic, and we give the food a 5 out of 5 stars, especially for being in a theme park. Now after we refueled, we then decided to go on every single ride imaginable. We ended up going on Transformers, The Mummy, twice, which is one of our favorite rides, Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure, three more times, and my sister even got to ride in the front row. To end the night, we literally were the last ones to ride Velocicoaster. We were so lucky, in fact, that we got to stay on the ride and ride two times in a row without waiting, and we literally shut down the theme park. But that's not all. We still had one more day left at Disney's Hollywood Studios to end our trip. After an epic day at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, we woke up at 6.45 a.m. to get a boarding pass to ride the new Star Wars Rise of Resistance at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The Force was with us this day as we were able to receive boarding group number 43. A special shout out to my friend Chris for the expert guidance and training. We were both able to get a boarding group two years ago when we were able to ride this ride at Disneyland in California. Excited for another fun-filled day, we entered the park and went straight to the newest attraction, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. All I can say is wow, this ride exceeded all of our expectations. From the trackless ride experience to HD special effects and sound design, this is one of those rides that is both family friendly with a flair of classic Disney. After Mickey and Minnie's, we then rode Rock and Roller Coaster in the front row. I really enjoyed this ride as it's one of the only roller coasters at Disney Hollywood Studios. After Rock and Roller Coaster, we only had an hour before our board group for Rise of Resistance was to be called. We decided to grab some blue and green milk and head over to Galaxy's Edge. We also were able to go to Oga's Cantina, which is one of the most exclusive experiences at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Oga's Cantina offers fantastic beverages made with ingredients from across the galaxy and captivating concepts that will delight even the youngest members of the crew. They offer both alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks as well as small snacks. I ended up getting the non-alcoholic carbon freeze. This drink was a combination of lemon lime, wild strawberry, blueberry powerade, as well as green apple popping pearls. My sister got the fuzzy tauntaun, which was Ciroc peach vodka, peach schnapps, simply orange with tangerine, pure cane sugar, and buzz button tingling foam. My other sister ended up getting the cold brew, which was a coffee-like drink. For our snack, we ended up getting the Batu Bits, which were crispy galaxy snack bits with spiced tremola diff. We also ended up getting the new vegan zucchini ronto wraps at the Ronto Roasters restaurant for lunch. The ronto wrap comes on a pita and features a grilled zucchini wedge, smoky chickpea onion slaw, and creamy garlic tahini sauce. They also have another ronto wrap with a meat version, but we honestly preferred the vegan version as the flavors were fantastic. Everything about Star Wars Galaxy Edge, the theming, the restaurants, and the entire cantina was fantastic, and it was literally out of this world. Now, as a pro tip, we highly recommend booking a reservation weeks, if not months in advance if you want to eat at that cantina. This is one of the hardest reservations to get in all of Disneyland and Hollywood Studios. A special thank you to our hostess, Luis, for the VIP treatment and experience. After lunch, it was time for the main event, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. This has to be one of the best theme park rides ever created and one that we will never forget. The ride is also so exclusive that they limit the number of daily guests with a virtual queue. And if you're not one of the first ones to join the boarding group when it pops up in the morning or afternoon, unfortunately, you will not be able to ride this ride. Now, Rise of the Resistance is a combined trackless dark ride, walkthrough motion simulator, and drop ride system, putting 
its guests in the middle of an altercation between the Resistance and the First Order. Rise of the Resistance is one of the most complex and advanced attractions ever designed by Walt Disney Imagineering. After riding Rise of the Resistance, we did some shopping in Galaxy's Edge, and man, there is so much to do. One of our favorite rides of the day, Tower of Terror. This is one of the oldest rides at Disney Hollywood Studios, and it really has a cool, creepy ambiance. To end the day at Hollywood Studios, we had some dessert and watched the light show as it was a perfect way to end the celebration for our birthdays, and I'm very grateful for these experiences and to spend time with my sisters. Now, the next morning, my sisters had their flights early, and I dropped them off at the airport. I then had the Continental Breakfast at Oscar's Bazaar, which is at the bottom of the Waldorf Hotel. Oscar's offers an expansive breakfast buffet or a la carte menu. I personally really enjoyed the green tea, English muffin, variety of fruit, oatmeal, and many other dishes. It was then time for me to fly to visit my parents in Grand Haven, Michigan, so I was off to the airport. Thanks to my Crypto.com and Jade green card, I got to enjoy a free first class lounge before boarding my flight. Now, with the Jade green status and above, you do get free access to these lounges. It really makes traveling a whole lot better, especially during these times. And that's going to do it for our first episode of Joe Paris TV. I'm going to be making these vlogs probably a few times a month. So if you've enjoyed this video, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to be notified every single time I come out with a new vlog style video. Thanks again, guys, for watching this video and supporting the channel. I can't wait to see you in our next episode of Joe Paris TV. Thank you.